Hi and welcome to this short tutorial video about COVAX, the Coronavirus Explorer. COVAX is a systems medicine platform for identifying drug repurposing candidates targeting host proteins. But first, let me show you a short simplified introduction to the SARS virus life cycle in human host cells. For the SARS virus to cause a disease, it needs to invade human host cells. Once the virus infects the host cell, it uses the cellular machinery to produce viral proteins and replicate itself. During infection and replication, viral proteins interact with several human host proteins to help assemble new units. The interactions can occur through different steps, from individual protein production to virus assembly and release. In COVAX, we can start with human host proteins, which we also call targets. They participate in the cellular processes affected by the virus. These targets are shown in blue. A main feature of COVAX is searching for new drugs capable of preventing virus-host interactions or downstream effects affecting cellular pathways. So, how are we utilizing systems medicine information and graph algorithms to find these? We use experimentally found interactions between the SARS virus and human host proteins in combination with known protein-protein interaction networks and information about proteins that are targeted by drugs. All this information can be combined and integrated with the algorithms incorporated in Co COVAX to find new targets and drugs which may help to prevent and treat the disease. All this was achieved by our small team involving many video calls in a dedicated effort. And with that base information provided, I now will introduce the COVAX web application to you. When you open the COVAX web application, this is what you'll see. It is basically a network containing human and viral proteins and their interactions. To find drugs, the easiest way would be to press the quick start button. It will take all the viral proteins as a seed nodes and use them to get a ranked list of drugs. If you want to use your own selection instead, you first have to choose some proteins. To do that, you just double click them like this. Once you're happy with your selection, just press the Find Drugs button. As you can see, a new task will appear and you will get notified once it's completed. You can continue browsing and exploring the network while the computation is running. Once it's done, you can retrieve the results by clicking the task. You will be presented with a table of the drugs it found and the proteins and their score. When you switch to the parameters tab, you can see the algorithms that were run in order to find these drugs and their respective parameters. You can also see the network by switching to the network tab. It contains all the drugs and target proteins. In this case, we only show approved drugs. If you want to also find non-approved drugs, which would be shown as an orange box, you have to run the advanced analysis. I will quickly show you how to do that. First, let's clear the selection we just made by clicking the reset button to the very bottom. This will completely clear your selection. You then can, for example, filter the network for all the viral proteins you're interested in, like this. And once you're happy with the viral proteins, you can add all the connected host proteins by clicking the Add Host Proteins button. Now all these host proteins will be part of your selection, indicated by an orange border around the nodes. Now let's collapse the simple analysis tile and expand this one. And first, let's try to find new drug targets. To do that, just click the Find Drug Targets button. In this case, you can choose from a variety of algorithms and you can also set the parameters for these, uh, for these algorithms. Let's just stick with Multisteiner for now and launch this task. This task now will find other proteins indicated by this icon. As before, you can continue exploring the network or searching for proteins or doing all sorts of stuff, including starting 
other tasks in parallel. Let's see what the multi-Steiner algorithm found. So, as you can see, it will also return the seed uh, proteins that you selected, but there are also some new ones, which you can see um, because they are not selected here. If you switch to the network, all the seed proteins are dark blue and the new ones um, are in a brighter shade. Let's now again clear the selection and choose all the host proteins inside this newly found network by clicking the Add Host Proteins button again. And now let's find a ranked list of drugs by applying the trust rank algorithm again and this time we also include non-approved drugs. And as you can see, this time we also have some unapproved drugs in the resulting list. In the network, they can be easily spotted because they are orange. All right, that's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions or happen to find bugs, don't hesitate to write us. You will find the contact information on the about page.